Okay, um, <coughs> hello, this is Rani Ahmed with you. This is lesson uh, 34 in uh, TCLTK. And in this lesson, uh, we be, we were talking about how to use TCL alone uh, without uh, TK because this time we're going to use TCL alone just for uh, web uh, development okay and building dynamic content and therefore because CCL is an interpreted language much like Perl or PHP okay uh, you and uh, I know there is a module that's been written nowadays for uh, Apache that you can install it for uh, TCL uh, to interpret a TCL code uh, but uh, we're going to use it this time as a as a, like a shell script like using uh, Apache and it will be uh, what we call as a CGI okay, common uh, gateway uh, interface and um, uh, through this way okay we're going to run our TCL scripts maybe like this one before us to connect uh, to our database and therefore we get something similar to uh, this table okay containing like a list of barcodes and uh, the items to be sold and the list of prices like the column 10 5 1 3 this one the column number four uh, number three okay and also I'm making here like an example how can uh, things show up as bold and italic or whatever okay so this is our program and this is our lesson for today for this time so uh, the steps first of all we have of course I use all the time uh, Debian so I'm using Debian method of configuration so Debian Linux so um, uh, we go to uh, slash uh, etc here let me go first okay we go to this uh, for uh, to this path and I open a file whatever the file name is just use a file at, uh, it's better to use dot confs okay and I made named it like tcl.conf okay but it has to be in the folder uh, etc apache uh, to uh, conf.d conf.d means everything in this folder okay will be considered as an apache uh, configuration and apache will uh, digest all the configuration files inside that uh, folder and it will add them to its uh, configuration data okay and information so i'm going going to open this first and here i have directives okay for apache uh, one of them is called a uh, directory Okay, which mentions that this directory has the following configuration. This is how uh, Apache will deal with uh, this folder. Okay, and in this folder that I'm creating underneath the root, the document root of Apache. Okay, which is uh, the document root here is a slash var slash www. And I made another folder underneath which is named TCL. Okay, so in this folder I'm going to add my TCL code. Okay, and to my TCL files. And I must say that this folder can execute. That's why I put the options. Okay, a directive here, subdirective, and I say that uh, plus exec CGI, which means this folder uh, can uh, our inside this folder Apache when it sees files uh, of extension TCL through this directive over here, add handle CGI script. Anything ending with TCL as uh, an extension. Uh, Apache will not uh, download it as a normal like file like a zip file or a tar file or whatever uh, else uh, it will try to execute it and run it okay so that's uh, how to set up first Apache now after this I quit and save okay and I must say that I have to restart my Apache okay so just to take that uh, folder but of course before this I must say that I have had have a uh, uh, folder in that path so I'm saying make dir uh, slash var slash www slash tcl 
it's already there okay and then I must give the permissions so Apache here is an imaginary user okay it's not a real user like uh, like me a human okay it's an imaginary user okay it has its own permissions so you have to give it uh, the permissions and the ownership but for simplicity for this test on all I'm going to do is first of all I'm inside the uh, inside the var WTCL okay so I'm, what I'm going to say is just go backward just one folder so I'm now var WW and I say chmod a means all for those who don't know Unix okay uh, or Linux and plus add the following permissions which is R for read, W for write, and X for execution for everything. So I'm saying for everything like the, the user permissions and the group permissions and anyone else also. Okay, so the owner and the group and the anyone else. Okay, uh, will have full permissions. There is full control of the, of the folder. And say TCL. This is my folder. So I'm opening the folder for everybody. Okay. So any anyone inside the server working inside the server, okay, locally inside from within the heart of the server, he can access or do whatever. Okay, from outside, from the outside world, they can't. Okay. Now uh, I move to TCL, okay, and I create within this fo fo uh, folder the script. It has to be of extension TCL, so that's why I make. Uh, uh, test.tcl okay this is a my file and I start writing my normal code in TCL okay now I opened it aside because this is not that clear so I opened it uh, aside with uh, Kate on, on Linux which is a KDE ed uh, editor and here I'm because also it has the coloring okay the highlighting of the code so here I must start like usual with a normal TCL so of course the mesh and the exclamation mark plus the path of the interpreter where it does it, uh, reside or uh, where it is located and I start I want to call my SQL uh, you know those who have been watching my videos they should know that they should get this package after I search for it through synaptic okay and I just try to click and install it okay here mark for installation now it's installed already but I'm saying this is mark for installation just quickly and then you'll get it installed now the rest is here just a normal uh, MySQL stuff you can watch other my other videos to know, to know how it's uh, uh, it's used I've been using it on like uh, 15 videos something like this okay now uh, the important thing to mention is you have to say puts this line okay content type text slash HTML okay two new lines you have to add them okay so uh, so um, uh, Apache would know when it receives this message the content type text HTML that this file is not an a binary file it's just a simple ASCII file so you can just display the uh, ask the browser to display it uh, it doesn't have to save it like any executable file or any other compressed file okay you can display it normally there's no troubles at displaying it and people can watch it and uh, read normal English or, or Arabic whatever Okay, and the rest will go uh, normal. So what will happen is that here, for example, I'm saying uh, puts some code of HTML, okay, which is here the balding of the text, okay, and the text here is Rani, hi Rani. So that's why I get uh, over here, hi Rani, okay, but when the browser receives it, it receives it with the bold slash bold okay the b slash b so therefore the uh, browser is obliged to interpret this as a bold uh, as a bold uh, text so that's why when you see view source view page source 
See, that's why you see here the B slash B. Okay. This is what I've sent throughputs, and the rest is the same. Okay. And there's so many TR and TDs, this is because there's a for loop. I'm using a side my TCL code. So it's just like I'm saying, uh, just print things out. Okay. Later, the browser will deal with the syntax of the HTML and it will uh, be obliged to uh, uh, like display the correct way. So that's all about uh, the TCL and how it work, works and how it works with uh, the database and a website. And the most important thing, also, just not to forget, is that when you uh, save your code, okay. You have to say chmod plus x the test.tcl, okay. So you are allowing the, uh, the code to be uh, executed by Apache, okay, as a normal script. So if I want to show you it without sending it through Apache, okay, I would have to say like test.tcl, like this. So when I press it, see the things that I've sent and received by the browser. That was received by the browser. It's the same. Okay, so if I go backward like this, as much as I can, I hope I can see it. This is a very long table. See it? Anyway, you've got the point. So this is all about it. Just writing the data, and this is my code here. It mentions that every item in the fields over from this query is SQL query okay is pasted over here okay over this line now and um and yes, there's one other thing I have to uh, highlight, which is the uh, the errors that comes out from uh, uh, TCL. Okay, you would have to go through the error log of Apache. There's no other way. Yeah, and I know it's annoying. Okay, if, uh, I think your administrator must. Uh, um, and must open the logs for you so to know what uh, what's uh, what has been going on okay so if I say if I want to see what has been going on so it says tail slash var slash a log slash the logs of whom of Apache and I must go through um, uh, error log and that's it so that's the day see it's um see it's the 20th of february okay 2012 and i had some some errors like around uh, five o'clock okay now it's 10 uh, p.m so see it tells you that uh, tcl is complaining about things over here okay so you have to fix them so that's all about uh, our program. So it's better uh, to fix the uh, program uh, aside like a normal script, uh, regardless of the HTML that's going to be displayed. Okay. Uh, I hope you like it and uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, comments.